On the afternoon of a summer day in the 16th century, a cataclysm struck a populated island offshore of what is now the coast of Papua New Guinea. In an instant, what was the center of a several mile wide island unexpectedly exploded, causing a plume of ash to shoot high into the atmosphere. Pyroclastic flows then occurred, but some residents were lucky enough to head to a boat and escape the island. Then, an even more powerful explosion occurred, which generated a tsunami. In moments, the existing island was obliterated and sunk below the ocean's surface, never to rise again. What I just described was a legend of the Yumba volcano, which has been told from generation to generation by the descendants of those who successfully escaped this disaster more than 400 years ago. Yet, despite the sheer number of villages which tell essentially the same tale, we have never been able to find this volcano. People who retold this legend all suggested that the volcano which once existed was located somewhere between Bagabag and Crown Island. Both of these islands are volcanic in origin, representing two vents in a chain of active, dormant, and extinct volcanoes. Yet, the only feature which seemingly rises from the ocean floor between these two islands is a seamount and shallow reef known as Hanko Reef. However, there are no thick, young-looking ash layers on the ocean floor around this reef, and no landslide deposits, aka hummocky terrain, which could explain this tsunami's generation. Thus, we have a mystery on our hands. An active volcano is seemingly missing within the waters offshore of the Papua New Guinea mainland. If we do not find this volcano, and if it were to erupt again, it could produce more tsunamis, generating a potentially widespread hazard possibly unknown and unreported to those within a several hundred mile radius. Since no direct evidence other than the tales told by indigenous peoples support that the Yumba volcano ever existed, we are left with a few possibilities. Possibility 1 is that despite the evidence, Hanko Reef is the site of where Yumba Island once existed, hence the shallow seamount. The caldera to its southwest might represent the caldera forming eruption which destroyed the island with its age being overestimated. Yet, field evidence does not seemingly support this. Possibility 2 is that a shallow ash-filled island that contained a few patches of trees somewhat similar to a more evolved island of Circe in Iceland was destroyed in a series of Circean explosions leaving behind only a reef where it once stood. Possibility 3, in my opinion, seems the most plausible, which I could best describe as a case of mistaken identity. If we zoom outwards from Hanko Reef, you might notice a very large island with a massive lake 40 miles or 64 kilometers to the southeast. This lake, known as Wisdom Lake, represents the water-filled complex caldera of the destructive Long Island volcano, which produced one VEI-7 and two VEI-6 eruptions in the last 20,000 years. The last such caldera forming eruption occurred in 1661 and caused widespread regional devastation creating a so-called time of darkness that made Long Island uninhabitable for some time. Since this eruption has been pinned down, you might wonder if in reality the Yamba volcano never existed but was rather a case of mistaken identity. After all, Yamba's eruption supposedly occurred less than a generation before Long Island's infamous eruption. Long Island's caldera was smaller before 1661 and may have contained a several mile wide island in the northwest section of Wisdom Lake. This island, which was likely low lying and did not rise more than 100 meters above the lake surface, probably looking a bit like Taal's central island in the Philippines, may have thus been destroyed in a subplanian or plenian eruption. The explosions themselves and small scale landslides may have thus displaced the water, generating tsunamis within the existing lake. And, since the island was possibly in the northwest of Wisdom Lake at the time, the fact that orally told stories can decay over time to mean slightly different things like a game of telephone means it is not too much of a stretch that Yumba was located northwest of our settlement on Long Island could become Yumba was located northwest of Long Island. Possibility 4 is that the island of Yumba never existed, simply being a tall tale much like the Jersey Devil in New Jersey. Which explanation do you think is correct? Be sure to let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.